Hello Transformer fans, this is Moobit from GamingNazaCode.uk with another toy review for you and I know this one's a little bit late actually um, it's been out for a little while now but uh, as some of you guys will know me a bit better will know I'm, I'm a very big, big G1 Transformers fan and my favourite character, although I never owned him as a kid, was Soundwave Everything about him, fantastic. But anyway, I was in Toys R Us the other day, took my daughter to see the biggest toy shop in the world, she's only four, very excitable. And I saw this on offer on the shelves. And I've been looking around for this and never really missed it. And uh, it is the Transformers Dark of the Moon Mechtech Laser Beak. Oh yes. Um, couldn't find Soundwave, unfortunately, but uh, Laser Beak will have to do. And as you can see, the packaging is overly large. You can't fit it all on the screen. See, so you've probably seen a couple of reviews for this already. I'm a bit late, but then, you know, I'm an older dad, as it were, so I'm obviously uh, only just starting to get back into collecting Transformers. And I'll tell you what, you've seen a few of my reviews in the last few months on my channel. But um, the movie line, I've always been a bit, nah, you know. There's a few that are all right. This one's one of them. I, I kind of like him because it's very G1 homage. Um, and the floodgates have opened anyway. There we... Uh, because of Transformers Prime, which to me is fantastic. But that's for an overview. I've got a lot of Transformers Prime stuff to do. I just picked up everything they had. Um, because it's like a mix of G1 and the uh, standard, uh, you know, the up-to-date Naughties Transformers. It's a nice little mix. But for now, I'm picking up a few of these. These now, they're going a bit cheaper because I didn't want to pay full price for them. And here we go, a quick look at the packaging. Transformers Dark of the Moon Mechtech laser beak nice little picture of uh, laser beak there from the film uh lovely decepticon logo on the side um go to the bottom also look out for nitro bumblebee nah. see this is what i didn't like about the uh the movie line it was like a million and one bumblebees they're everywhere even with the uh the new series the uh, transformers prime i've not really bothered with bumblebee yet i keep turning him down but i will get him just for completion but anyway transformers collectors club uh, i'm sure you've probably seen the packaging for this but just in case a lot of the reviews i've seen haven't got the packaging line figure on the side we've just got Victorious warning as etc etc Sad onion face is coming to get you. Oh yeah, sad onion face makes a little appearance. Deluxe laser beak. And on the back, um the Sipcon symbol. And a bit of BG, not enough to do you any harm, as one of my favourite reviewers says. Soundwave's loyal servant, Laserbeak, wants to use his laser attack, uh, wait to use his laser attack on the Autobot, should I say. I need to get my eyes tested. Lovely little picture of Laserbeak in his bird mode right there, with the mech tech weapons. There's two of them on this, as you can see there. And they've got a lovely little gimmick where they combine into a massive one! And that's him in his alt mode. It's another one of those tacked on alt modes, I'm afraid, just like uh, Ravage from the second film, uh, Revenge of the Fall, and he turned, but at least this one's some kind of vehicle. It's supposed to be a, a hover vertical takeoff the helicopter jet thing with a with a cockpit there but we'll show you that in a moment. Um, which is a little bit better than Ravage's turns into a meteor brown turd thing. Uh, Transformers Prime, see it's advertising that already, <laughs> when this came out, Hasbro, warning, attention, attention, if you're a sad on your face, you're out of luck. So, let's, uh, you've seen the packaging, that's the first time, I must admit, that I've seen the packaging on a review with this figure, hence me wanting to show it here. So let's get it open and take a look at it in some more detail. Okay, here's one thing I want to show you straight off the bat. There's the packaging. Look at that. You've heard of the Cable Ties of Doom on all my reviews. you got some there. I mean, look at the state of that lot. Can you see that? There's Cable Ties of Doom, and then there's Cable Ties of Doom. Although these aren't even Cable Ties. It's not like I can untwist them. They're the String of Doom, which I guess is more recyclable, I suppose, because they're paper string things, but uh, I'm going to be a while snipping these in. So... Uh, Let's do a little segue. 
And here is laser beak opened up and out of the packet. Finally got through the cable ties of doom. And as you can see, it's it, the alt mode. It's one of the better ones from the beast ones. It's better than the Scorpion Oak one from from the first film. And it's better than Ravage, as we discussed earlier. It's some kind of, but it it's still, you know, it's tacked on. There's no two ways about it. But it's all right. It's like a vertical takeoff hover helicopter jet thing. Turbines on here. These spin round, which is a nice little feature. You got a cockpit there, a bird motif to give a clue of who he is. And that's supposed to be the cockpit where people sit. Um, <laughs> giant bird feet for landing gear, go figure. The mech tech weapons on the bottom. And whoops, the problem is it's a bit flimsy on the back in terms of the way it holds together. Bit of a plain wing I think that's supposed to be. But yeah, all in all, it's alright. And it's a uh, good, good, heavy feeling in the hands. Now you've got to bear in mind, guys. The this is the first and the um, prime stuff I'm going to review later. Um, this is the first full sized. Well, this is the uh, the me medium size, full size, if you will, uh, for those who are massive Transformers fans and watching my video from Gamer Dads and that. Um, this is the kind of first full size ish Transformer I've bought since I was a kid. Um, I mainly deal with the uh, Cyberverse mini figures, which of which I'm sure you've seen. Uh, well, I don't know, there's one here, for example, there's Prime, little tiny one. Um, because they take up less space and I stick them on my, my desk at work because I'm a newbie geek. But yeah, it's alright. You know, it's. Um, it's laser beat. You've got. It's got to be done. Now you can have it if you want without the guns on there. But then to me, it looks even more like a bird. So I think this gives it a bit of bulk for a, for a supposed vehicle form. Extreme close-ups here, but you know I want to make sure it's nice and um, in shot. Now I'll show you the um, Mech Tech is the new branded. There's your two weapons there. You got a standard one that's like a Gatling gun there. Look doesn't really do anything apart from that two slightly sh different shades of browny grey I don't know if you can see that on the camera so that's a little bit annoying but yeah what are you gonna do so you got that one and then you got the mech tech one which is the gimmick on the movie line toys or at least the latest ones um, and what you can do you push that in you got a Gatling gun there same as this but then if you push that in it spins around a few times on like a gear can you see that there's a gear function there it spins around and then you've got a Cybertronian laser pistol thing I don't know which is kind of cool it's a nice little gimmick I suppose you can um, all the um, the main uh, movie line toys if you will uh, they all have uh, mech tech ports on them now it's basically stamped for those who are massive fans they're standard size ports for holding guns and things there's your there's your pin right there for um, holding it um, and the other the, uh, for those who don't know as well this this is a little gimmick as well push that in very slightly and what you can do is you can put this gun inside this gun click it right in, so it locks in and then you've got like a giant F off BFG style gun. The only problem with this being on a COG is that, and I've seen many reviews say the same thing, got the same problem with theirs, um, it doesn't quite line up on its own so you have to give it a little bit of a force but then you know you can do that and I suppose this ship thing They've got mech tech ports, you can see it's because the light's not great today. You've got mech tech ports um, there, on the bottom of what will be the feet there. You've also got them on the bottom of the neck there, and you've also got them on the turbines here. So if you wanted, you could have this vehicle having a great big massive great, huge gun on the side. Looks a bit silly, but what are you going to do? Um, to transform him, well, actually before we go in, the instructions are quite good these days as you can probably see, I'll switch to macro, you get some lovely instructions with that, uh, you can't quite see but yeah, they're alright. So as I was saying, there's the instructions, very nice, you know, very clear for the kiddie winks, um, the bits you need to be moving are highlighted in purple there, 
for those who haven't bought Transformers for a while and haven't quite got the knack because you're in your late 30s. <laughs> but yeah, and obviously on the back is the other way around. So, to transform this guy, first what you want to do is take away the guns. And then you're left with this bad boy. Uh, first what you want to do, this is obviously going to become the tail. If you flip that out, it's on a double hinge just here, flip that out and then flip it back and fold out the tail wings. This is lovely actually, it's on like a several ball joints so you can get it any pretty much any angle you want. Um, um, we'll do the legs next, legs come, legs come down, yeah, trying to get the light in the right place, I'm having to use a um, office um, desk lamp basically today because my main lamp's gone, I've got to buy another one. Fold out the wings, the um, leg feathers if you will there, get this down to an angle like that and then you pull the feet out like so and pull the heels out like that. Okay, same on the other side. So twist, feathers, twist, feathers, feet, little tootsie. And the beautiful thing about this little tootsie here is that is a mech, standardized mech tech um, thing. So if you've got any of the larger Dark and the Moon figures, <laughs> like Sentinel Prime for example, um, Soundwave the same one as, you know, same size as this would look ridiculous but if you've got a really 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 large figure like, like Sentinel Prime or the large Optimuses or even the large Megatron obviously because he's a Decepticon then uh, you can have him hold, um, you can, there's a port on top of all the hands and you can have him hold Soundwave, um, Soundwave? God, Soundwave on the brain. You can have him hold um, laser beak on the arm which I think is a fantastic little feature one I unfortunately won't be making any use of because I don't have any large figures and like I said the movie line to me is a bit meh I might pick up the sound waves if I see them the turbines what you want to do open them up and this is a lovely little transformation this out 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 and then there's another bit there which you flip around like so close it back up and you've got the wing. Same on this side, open it up. You've seen this before if you've watched a YouTube video already on this, but you know, I have a different clientele on my channels. We're all oldies, so you know, we might be a bit behind you, young'uns. <laughs> out, 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 out. Close it up. When you've got it all lined up, that is. Close that up. And you've got the other wing, and look at the paint job on that, it's gorgeous, it goes from like a silvery metallic colour there to a fading into a burnt red, beautiful little thing. Um, there's little panels here which are very stiff on my figure, Arrgh! open those up, they reveal a spine, and last but not least, the cockpit, fold that down, there's another hinge down here like so, and you can pull the head out like that. Um, double hinge on here, so you hinge that back like that. That tucks in and then closes up. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have Darker the Moon, Laserbeak, in his, well, robot mode, I guess. Robot mode, beast mode, whatever you want to call it, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, a little bit of a segue there because I wanted to get a nice close-up shot of Laserbeak there. Ah, damn this light. Ah, right. So there he is, Laserbeak. And this thing is feckin' cool, to be fair. Look at that beautiful paint job on there. That's a bit plain, but, you know, whatever. Um, lovely little spine all the way across. The tail... Um, is on several ball joints. You can get pretty much any angle you want. You can have the tail out like that if you want, or you know that's the official way. Just to let you know. Love a little feet on here. Let's get his heels down a bit better. And what I like to do with this is um, anyone who's a G1 fanboy, anyone who was a kid in the 80s. We'll remember Laserbeak as a tape from the ejected out of Soundwave's little uh, cassette deck 
that he turned into um, and he had great big guns on the top of his wings so what you can do is you put these mech tech ports on top of there give him a bit of a G1 kind of laser beat look very badass if you ask me um, and his head articulation wise head um, so you got little turkey face here. Another thing you can notice with the turkey with this is his mouth does open like so. You go, hi, how are you? But yeah, there you go. <laughs> little turkey head. A lot of people complain about the little turkey face. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cool. I think it makes him. I think it looks a little bit like pretty evil. I mean, turkeys are evil. Let's face it. That's why we eat them. Um, Articulation wise, he has got multiple ball joints on his neck, so you can have him in any phrase, any kind of pose you want. Sorting himself out, looking up, looking in the sky, looking around, looking left, looking right. You can have him little, I don't know, little pose there. Um, and you can pretty much get him in any kind of dynamic pose you want on your shelf. Um, I'm kind of going for that kind of look. Uh, the wings um, do move up and down. And also you can pretty much position these as you like. So you could have him in like a, a dive bombing kind of uh, pose if you like. Um, feet have got a little bit of articulation both there and here at the top so you can pretty much get his feet in any position you want um, I try and get them out as much as you can of course because obviously he looks more bird like that way and uh, yeah it, after, all in all a pretty cool figure um, bearing in mind I'm not really not a fan of the movie line this thing you know for half price at Toys R Us and other shops of the ilk, um, I'd say pick him up. He's um, he's kind of cool. He's a bit different. He's, uh, I mean, he's laser beat. Come on. Anyone who's a uh, fan of G1 will want him. And you know, he looks good on your game on your shelf. I've got a shelf above my games consoles in in my um, home office that uh, the this this little boy is going on. So, uh, yeah, Dark of the Moon laser beak, pick him up, and uh, I'll see you at the next review.